So what we've got here is a cardioid sub setup. I've got two firing towards the front, and one firing towards the rear, and I've reversed polarity on the center sub. Uh, these subs have a built-in switch for it, otherwise you can do it on most uh, digital boards. Got an RTA mic in the front. I've also measured the, uh, the frequency in the rear with the RTA mic, which is coming through here. Um, got the same signal. Um, what's important is to have the same model sub and the same uh, settings on all of them, except for the polarity. And then what I've got is just some pink noise going through uh, on both of them. And then I have a delay on the rear facing sub. So started at zero and what I did is I just recorded a uh, track from the RTA input and just moved it up, um, moved the delay up in half foot increments. Or if you're doing milliseconds you just calculate that. So I recorded some audio at a half a foot. Uh, from I did one track from the rear and one from the front. So what I did was I tracked them out side by side, and my dog is excited about all the activity. Um, so the top track, track number one, as well as this top EQ here, is the measurement in front of the speakers at about two meters. And track two, and the bottom track, and the bottom right EQ here, is from behind the subs. And as you can see, as the volume the level went down so these are all half foot increments this is at zero uh, zero feet delay and then this is at a half a foot or six inches of course and then one one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half five five and a half at six and at six feet uh, and this is just delaying the the center rear firing sub at six feet i noticed that it started to come back up so um, if I were to go on, you'd see basically the mirror image from about here on. So, as you can see here, about a foot. Uh, the cool thing is, is as the rear measurement goes down, once you get to about here, the front measurement actually, uh, there's some summation there, so you actually get more in the front um, with having this rear firing sub. So it's a win-win. You, you kill the boom behind and you increase it just a little bit in front. Uh, I found in this setup uh, the most effective combination of less in the, in the rear and more in the front was around four and a half feet. Um, obviously results will vary um, given your surroundings. I was in my driveway next to a trailer and in between a truck and a garage. so. Uh, clearly, it's not ideal, but it's a good starting point. So uh, that's about it uh, in a nutshell. Let me know uh, if you all have any questions. Cheers.